And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, what? Fuck it, go, go. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Ask Joey. I'm your host, Joey. This is the only place on the internet where you can ask a former idiot questions to help you get through your idiocy or avoid idiocy. Both are equally important. Hopefully, it's just avoiding idiocy and not having to get through it because that makes things a lot more difficult. So for today's episode, I had a whole bunch of questions lined up, and I was trying to decide which one to do. And then I woke up this morning and in my Facebook instant messenger got a, let's just call it a rude, a rude message and kind of threw me off for the day. Um, Not the whole day, but you know, just one of those things where you kind of, it's not ruining your day, but it's not, it's not making your day any better. So um, I thought I would answer the question, what do I do if I'm having just a shh? day. You have a bad day. What do you do? How do you get out of the funk? You don't want it to carry over. You don't want it to affect other parts of your life. I mean, what happens is generally you're, you, you get in a bad mood about one thing, but then it really affects the things around you. And you don't want that. You don't want to be mad at your, your husband or your wife or your kids or your coworkers or your parents. It's not, you're not mad at them. You're not mad about anything that they did. Well, unless they're the ones that, that caused it, but you want to just kind of get past the BS and move on with your life because for the most part, the things that are going to kind of ruin your day and put you in a bad mood, it's usually just little stuff. So I'm going to give you a couple a couple tips, a couple things that I use to get through my my crap days and things actually that I used today, which worked out great. Um, first thing you have to do, you have first thing you have to make sure you do is do not react to whatever is putting you in the bad mood, do not react while you're still in a bad mood or while you're angry because you're going to let your emotions um, take control of the situation instead of your mind. And you will probably make your, put yourself into a worse situation if you react to anything while you're angry. So if you have any big decisions that come up, if you're, you know, if you can deal with this person, if this is a person that puts you in a bad mood face to face, just walk away. Just get away from from having to make a decision or reacting while you're in a bad mood. Wait until you're calm. Wait until you're level-headed. That's the most important thing. That's not going to help you get over whatever's putting you in a bad mood, but it at least help you get um, not make your not make the situation any worse. Uh, what you're looking to do is you need to just you need to pause. You need to take a break. You need to separate yourself because what happens is you get in a you get in a bad mood and I have ADHD. If you guys watched any of the other episodes, I've talked about it there. Um, so when stuff gets in my head and this may be an ADHD thing, this may be an everything, everybody thing. But when you get in a bad mood for me, when you get in, when you get something in your, in your head, that's, that's frustrating or irritating, it's just on your freaking mind and you just need a break from that. So we want healthy escapes, not I'm not going to say, Hey, you're in a bad mood today. Go get high. Hey, you're in a bad mood today. Go get drunk. That's not going to solve anything. That's just going to ignore it. And we're not about ignoring problems here at all. We're about hitting those problems head on. Now, when we deal with those problems, when we're not angry and we're not fired up and not all emotional, that's when you handle the situation. So don't respond. Don't react while you're angry. You just you need to separate. You need to separate yourself from whatever that situation is, whatever that person is, and just take a break and then get a level head. So three things that I do that are really that are huge. Um, Two of them I actually work into my schedule to help kind of set my system. And one of them is something that I like doing, but I make sure I do it if I'm having a crappy day, like I did, like I was today. So uh, the first thing I do is I is work out. I, um, I run a couple days a week and I lift, lift weights six days a week, and then take a break on Sundays just because of church and family stuff and all that. It just takes up too much time. So I take one day off a week, but I know so like today, I'm having a crap day, right? Um, trying not to affect time spending with my daughter. Don't want it to affect time. We know when my wife gets home from work and, and then we're all together as a family. So looking forward to the workout because I know at the end of the day, like usually it's me decompressing um, just the pressure and the grind and stuff from, from the day so then I can kind of revamp and then work more at night. 
But uh, today I was looking forward to it just because I needed to get whatever this garbage was out of my system and, and working out totally does that. Um, so take a walk, go to the gym, ride your bike, uh, go swimming. I mean, even if it's, even if it's just, just get out and move around because when you move around, your blood flows, you you start releasing the endorphins and things, things just feel better. So move around, whatever that is, work out, gym, swim, run, walk, whatever. Uh, another thing I do is I take, and this doesn't seem to appeal to anybody. When I heard it, I thought, oh, that sounds fantastic. But when I share this with other people, they go, that sounds stupid. So take it for whatever it is. Uh, take a cold shower, like take a cold ass shower. Just put it on barely. So, so it's barely on. So it's freezing cold or as cold as you can get it and get your butt in the shower. And what it does is it just, it shocks your system and it kind of reboots your system. Uh, I use it in the morning. I use it after workouts as a um, as a reboot, and you could do the same thing with your with your emotions because really you just have to. It's that it's that switch. So you know you're on. You're you're irritated. You're feeling this whatever. You're mad. You're you're pissed off. You're angry. You're sad. You're depressed. Whatever you are, and then you jump in the shower and it shocks your system. So it kind of throws that off. So you can kind of get out of your your train of thought, which is um, which is all you're trying to do here. And the so we got workout or move something, get out and about, cold shower. Third thing is watch or listen to something funny. Like today, I threw on a podcast with Sasha Baron Cohen, Borat. Um, for those of you that don't know, Borat, Ali G, uh, Bruno, in case you don't know, his real name is Sasha Baron Cohen. He's funny as hell. And he goes through the, just doing an interview, just a normal interview on a podcast, super funny. Um, I think it was, I think he was on the Mark, Mark Marin podcast and it's funny. So I'm sitting there and because I'm laughing with him and picturing the movies that he's in and talking about these funny scenes and he's hilarious and he's smart and he's, and he's, and he's, uh, can take really, he's really good storyteller. He can take you to, to the situation and, and really you know, so you can grasp it and you start laughing and you start releasing endorphins and you start feeling better. And that's, that's your break. Um, other people that I, you know, I'll go throw on Netflix and throw on, uh, Louis CK. Um, who's a, who's a guy I just listened to Tom Segura, super funny. Um, YouTube is amazing. Like go, go to YouTube and search, uh, Bill Burr, go to YouTube and search, um, Greg Giraldo roast. If you guys don't know who Greg Giraldo is, man, he's like the king of of roasting. Him and Jeff Ross are, are hilarious. And just find either a, a, a super funny ass movie, find a funny person doing an interview, or or even better yet, find stand up because it'll be funny the whole way through. And I I promise you, after you sit through an hour of Louis C.K., after you sit through an hour of Bill Burr, Chris Rock, uh, Kevin Hart, you sit through an hour of of comedy and laughing. It's, it's not going to like, it's not rainbow and sunshine afterwards, but you will feel so much better than you did before you sat down. The idea is just to take a pause and, and, and take a, and get a break and just separate that train of thought. You're just trying to break that train of thought just enough to get you out of the funk and stuff that you're in. Cause that's all you're in is a funk. And, um, once you break that, you, it's kind of it makes it a lot easier to not kind of fall back into it. You get into a rut, especially when you first wake up, man. There's nothing like waking up to some crappy, and then it just throws you in a funk because you just you're not ready for it at all. Like you're more prepared when you're st- when you're working and when you're going and you're interacting. But man, you wake up and flip open your phone or whatever and see some some crap message from some dickhead and just totally throws you off. So working out or moving, getting out and about, get out in the sun, moving your legs, moving your body, cold shower. Uh, funny movie, stand-up, comedy, interviews, something, just something funny, something to make you laugh because you laugh and you smile and it sends signals to your brain that things are okay and it starts releasing endorphins and other chemicals that make you feel good. And, and before you know it, you're wondering what you were so irritated for in the first place. Now you can go and deal with that issue and now you can go and and handle it appropriately because you do not want to handle any situation where you're emotional usually your emotional decision is not the best decision for the situation. So remove the emotion from the situation and then handle it. Maybe it takes a day, maybe it takes half a day, but give yourself the time to separate, to cool down, 
to collect your thoughts so you have a rational, straightforward, real, um, real focus on the situation as opposed to you going in and being really angry or being really sad or being embarrassed or being depressed and then reacting in a way for your depressed, angry, sad, embarrassed version of you. You want the real version of you. So give yourself the chance to separate, break that train of break that train of thought, break that negativity, break that depression, and then go in and handle it. As always, you can find me on uh, Twitter. You can find me on Snapchat. It's Snapchat seems to be the the best way to get a hold of me. That seems to be how most people are are contacting me. And again, if you have any questions about any of these episodes, whether you're listening on YouTube or you're watching, you know, listening on, on iTunes or SoundCloud, if you have questions on anything you've heard or anything um, you need clarity on or, or deeper questions or anything, just shoot me a Snapchat, DM me, whatever. I'm, I'm, uh, I love answering questions and I love, I love helping, helping people out either get, either avoiding your idiocy or getting past your idiocy, but both are really important and, and that's what this is all about. So hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye. And she was like, who? And he was like, nah. And we was like, who?